this year, the Rotary Club of Honolulu's interna big international project was uh, in the province of Benguet in uh, northern Philippines. And the, the project was to rehabilitate a high school that was really in bad shape, but also to set up a completely new computer lab. Your heart sinks because you know that these children have been going to school in a building that should have been condemned decades ago. And uh, it's always been my thought that when you work together, you know, you might have a certain relationship with somebody, but the minute you work and sweat together with them, the relationship is just um, expanded exponentially. Yes. You know, right away I've got into the carpenter crew with um, a team that none of us are carpenters, you know, but we actually did quite a good job of, of all the carpentry work that we did. Uh, and, we, you know, it got to, by the third day, we were known as the A-team. community itself achieved a certain sense of, of coherence and a sense of hope about what they themselves can do in the future uh, to build upon what we've already initiated with our efforts here. As you can see, people from the Rotary Club of Honolulu, Hawaii came here personally to help in the improving of our school and you know, this is the very first time in the history that the donors and the sponsors came here personally to help in improving our, our school. And these changes are great. And we know in the deepest part of our hearts, we know that the donors and the sponsors contributed a lot and helped a lot in the improvement of the school. The work was daunting because so much of the school was in such bad repair that going up on the roof was challenging and a little scary. And these are just old tin roofs, mostly rust. Project is really a surprise to us. We didn't expect this project. Uh, we were just told that the Rotarians are donating something to the school and we thought it was just an equipment or so until we found out that it was a big project after all. It was a, a very fulfilling experience. We saw the, the young students actually using the computers. They were thrilled. From our point of view, it was very successful. We felt very good about it. And the expressions on their faces now made it work. Thank you. Work's all done. There's only one thing left to do. After you work hard, you got to play hard. And we did play hard. We took a long bus ride and we went to the vegetable terraces. We were in uh, Sagata and stayed at the Red Rock Inn. Uh, very cool place, uh, very nice. We took a lot of great photographs there. It was amazing. It was at the hanging coffins. The, the important people, they are hung on the side of a mountain. These very important people can watch over the future generations. From there, we went down to the uh, vegetable terraces and had a very long hike. The walls of the rice terraces, and sometimes they were 20 feet high up above the next terrace. We uh, got down to the end of the trail and we were able to play in a nice lake down there. It was a freshwater lake with a, fed by a waterfall. Dr. Sam actually got his legs massaged by two cute little girls. So we got to swim under the water as the water came splashing down off the, the mountain and there was a rock we could jump and, and play. And, we spent a good two hours there and had lunch. Uh, the long hike out was hot because it was in the afternoon and boy were we glad to see the, uh, when we got to the top of it. We 
we're able to, to refresh ourselves and get ready for the trip to the cave. We went down into a cave that was a couple hours in. So water slides and, and rock formations inside that were just totally amazing. The guides that we had knew everything about there, were informative, told us all about the history of Sagata and the place. We went in knowing we were gonna get wet and we were gonna be up to our our, our shoulders in water at some times. And boy, one part where I kept slipping and falling and somebody had to help me get up and it was kind of embarrassing. But you know what? <laughs> it, was, it was fun. It was a good time. I encourage everyone from the Rotary Club of Honolulu to take advantage of these events as they come every year about the same time and they're run very well. 